Hello all, I am Dr. Anand Nayar, PhD in Computer Science. I welcome you all to my YouTube channel Gyan with Anand Nayar. Subscribe to my YouTube channel and stay tuned to all the technology videos on Linux administration, open source, Windows administration, embedded systems, Kali Linux, simulations, big data, machine learning, programming, deep learning, IoT, virtualization, unboxings and many more. If you want to know more about my, the details of my video, you can click on the playlist and you can find more details of the videos on which I make on my YouTube channel. If you want to know more about my research, you can go to Google Scholar and you can search my name Dr. Anand Nayar and you can find all my research papers over here. And similarly, you can even go to researchgate.net and you can find my detailed profile and even my level of research over here. And you can find all the coordinates of my current research scenarios on this website. And similarly, you can even go to google.com and you can search my name as Anand Nayar and you can find my website and every coordinate needs of my of my research everything over this search so i request you to subscribe to my youtube channel and stay tuned gyan with anandaya your ultimate resource for technology thank you hello researchers how are you i hope you are fine and doing well in this video i will be demonstrating how to install magnolia cms on ubuntu 18.04 now before we dive in the installation part of Magnolia CMS on Ubuntu 18.04, let us first of all understand something brief regarding Magnolia CMS. Magnolia is an open source content management system was developed by Magnolia International Limited based in Basel, Switzerland. It is based on Content Repository API for Java. If we talk of architecture, Magnolia CMS is a Java-based content management system that uses a JCR repository to store, retrieve, and search data. In this respect, Magnolia is similar to the Adobe Experience Manager, Hippo CMS, and Jahia, who uses the JCR. Magnolia uses Apache Jackrabbit, the JCR reference implementation by default. It is possible to use another JSR 170 certified repository implementation such as Modship. Persistent storage. In Magnolia, Jackrabbit persistent data to the H2 database by default. A lightweight embedded H2 database contains the Magnolia software configuration and two demonstration websites in a single download for trying out the system. For production environments, other databases such as MySQL, PostgreSQL or Oracle can be used. Instances. Magnolia CMS is distributed as two web applications, an author instance and a public instance. Editors working on the author instance typically resides in a secure location behind a firewall inaccessible from the internet. Editors publish content to the public instance which serves the content to the visitors on the web. The public instance resides in a location that can be reached from the internet or the intranet. A typical Magnolia CMS production setup consists of at least two public instances. More instances can be created to meet site load and availability needs. Now if we talk of some modules, Magnolia CMS has a modular architecture. The system core and features such as page editor, digital asset management and cache are packaged into separate modules. The module mechanism is also used to package and deploy websites built with Magnolia CMS. The templates, themes and functionality used on a website are split into separate modules. Modularity allows site administrators to install and uninstall functionality according to a project's requirement. Encapsulating functionality into discrete modules also promotes separation of concerns. One team can work on website templates while other team develop apps, for example. At the file system level, a Magnolia module is a JAR, a Java file format used to package Java class files and resources. Deploying a Magnolia module involves copying the JAR file into the Java application server and restarting the Magnolia instance. Magnolia CMS recognizes the JAR file during the startup process and install the module. Magnolia clients are from different areas, from financial services, government and media, and the system is best suited for organizations that complex integration requirements and sufficient IT resources to customize the product to their needs. So this was the brief introduction regarding Magnolia, and as you can see on my screen, I have already opened the official website that is magnolia-cms.com, and all the web links which I will be opening on this video will be linked in the description below.
So this is the number one CMS for integration and you can see who uses Magnolia and lots for great for business and loved by tech lovers. So it's about about Magnolia. We can find more things what we do and who we are and this is the best team which you can see to, in order to work out this technical masterpiece. And if you want to find more technical specification, you can find more features regarding what Magnolia is all about, what is the content delivery, personalization, multi-language support, platform. So it is purely, purely a depth integration based uh, content management framework. So if you want to try, you can even download for free. And in this version, I will be using the version 5.6.5, .5, which was released on 15th November 2017, about six months back. And uh, it is going to be the most stable. And the original authors for Magnolia CMS are Boris Kraft and Pascal Magnault. So let's go with the part B of my video in which I will be demonstrating how to install Magnolia CMS on Ubuntu 18.04. Now as you can see that I have already started my VMware workstation and I have installed the latest version of Ubuntu 18.04. So let's unlock it and let me log in. So here are the all the steps which I have written. So all the steps will be available in the description below. So let's not waste time and let's go with starting of the terminal. So let's go with the terminal first. So let's first of all log in with root. So let's type the command that is su space minus and let's type the password. So let's clear this and let's type first of all apt hyphen get update in order to update the repositories. Now, as I've already told you that Magnolia CMS is based on Java, so we need to add the repository for Java and then we have to install the Java. So let's first of all add the repository for Java. So let's press enter. You can even install Java 10 for this version, but uh, for uh, rather than to install Java 10, which is a very high end, so we can uh, we can just uh, get the work done via even Java 8. Okay, so it is done. So let's first of all let's try with apt hyphen get update so that we can update repositories and now we are all set to install the Java so it will take some time so in between that I will pause the video for some time so sometimes this problem occasionally happens and I hate this problem So let's kill this process first. Sometimes it can happen. So now you can see that it has started. So let's press Y and press Enter. So it will take some time. So let's press Enter for accepting and let's accept the Oracle binary code lessons terms. So let me pause the video for some time. So almost 57% and 60% it is done. So let's proceed. So it is uh, removing the outdated cache downloads. And yes, we can see that the Java is almost done and we are ready to fire up the next command. So Java 8 is installed. So let's first of all check the, with this command that is Java space hyphen version. So it is version 1.8.0 underscore 171. It is SE runtime environment and Java hotspot. So now let us go and start with the part B of this practical that is in which I will be practically installing how to install the Magnolia CMS. So let's go with this directory cd slash opt and in this I will be downloading the version that is 5.6.5 .5, that is the Magnolia bundle. So it is about 145 MB 
not a very big big package so depending on the speed of the net connectivity it can take up to one minute or two minutes so I again pause the video till it downloads and I come back once it is completely downloaded so now you can see that it has been downloaded and now we are ready to fire with the unzip command so let's unzip the file so lots of files are there it is unzipped so now let us move into the directory so that is magnolia 5.6.5 so now what we have to do is to just run this this command so it is started so now what we have to do we just have to uh, point to the IP address with the following uh, port that is 8080 so let me have the IP address of this machine that is 211.143 okay so let's go with this that is HTTP to 144 colon 8080 So now you can see it is saying welcome to Magnolia congratulations everything so now what we have to do is to conclude the installation we have the two options that is run the web update on the author instance and run the web update on the public instance so for this video I will be going for run the web update on the author instance and now what we have to do you can see that all the modules that can be installed so what we have to do is to just point on this link that is start installation So you can see about 704 tasks are there. It will take some time and it will start the execution. So you can see five tasks are executed. So it will take some time. So I just pause the video and I just uh, be in between that. So almost 50% of the task is being done. So we are done and now we are all set to fire the Mongolia. So Magnolia we are there so let's click on startup Magnolia. So it is giving starting. So we will have a front-end uh, web-based interface which will demand the username and password. So I just let you know what is the username and password after that so let's wait you can see that it is waiting for the website to open and the first time it will take some time but the next time it will be flying like jet so the username will be super user and same will be the password so password will be super user so let's uh, type this and uh, let's click on login and now we can see that it is fully set up and we are on the admin central control and yes you can see all the dev tools and web development tools all the other tools with JCRs cache tools and security edit pages even we can go for the tasks even we can go for some favorites like that so in this video I have demonstrated how to install Magnolia CMS on Ubuntu 18.04 so I hope that you like this video and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel and do comment on this video and even you can mail me I will be leaving the mail uh, email ID of mine in the description below you can even follow me on Instagram and uh, if you need to send me some comments you can please comment on this video and even comment me that what new videos you would like to see on my youtube channel in the coming future so this is enough for this video and catch you all in the next video thank you so much for watching